Hi there, I'm Rose Jacobs for Calkine Media and welcome to another edition of Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today I'll be shining a light on Control Bionics or CBL on the ASX, a pioneer in the augmentative and alternative communications industry serving a broad range of disabled people internationally with its technology that helps them communicate better and control their environment. CBL is an emerging player in the global assistive technology industry and it is my pleasure today to be speaking with Control Bionic CEO Rob Wong. Rob, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Very pleased to be on Calkine TV. Well, CVL is dedicated to serving the population living with conditions that cause paralysis and loss of speech, to name a few. But Co Control Bionics has developed solutions like NeuroNode Trilogy. Can you talk us through what this product is exactly and, and what it really aims to achieve? Yeah, so we deal with um, people with severe communication dif difficulties, both um, speech and movement. And our Trilogy product brings together eye gaze technology with EMG based switching, which enables people in a severe um, condition to be able to communicate effectively. And our product in the marketplace, um, where, where eye gaze is the traditional um, gold standard, our product is 47% faster. Than, than traditional eye gaze technology. So we're, we're really starting to make some inroads globally in terms of the impact of our product. Well, it certainly sounds um, very exciting indeed. And you've also celebrated a recent launch of Cosmos Connect. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so um, our product primarily works in the communication space. So we help people you know, communicate by speaking or being able to email. But the addition of Cosmos as a gateway product has really expanded the use of our system to be able to do things like um, gaming for disabled people, um, also the ability to control robots and uh, wheelchairs functions and as well as um, environmental control. So we're now really starting to expand that, that whole meaning, meaning of our product beyond just speech. With such an interesting product on the list of your offerings, I'm now curious to know if there are any other new products or any upcoming launches that will broaden this NeuroNode product range. Yes, there's, there's a whole raft of uh, product pipeline that we're doing and probably the most relevant one is uh, we're also recently launched uh, a product called Uno Touch and Uno Touch is a product which is designed for the autism or intellectually disabled market and it's a very robust unit that can be carried around and take a lot of knocks um, but be uh, very useful for people who can't communicate effectively and they just simply touch the screen and um, be able to communicate. We're very excited about that product and what it does for us. I can imagine so. Now, Control Bionics recently made a record number of system sales throughout North America. That must be very exciting. And, and do you see this particular growth continuing? Yeah, I mean, it's been a, a challenging market for us as a small company expanding into the US and very nice to now see that the US market, the foundational work that we've done with our investment is starting to come true. And we're starting to see, you know, COVID conditions starting to abate and uh, we're very excited about the growth now that we have available to us in the US market. Well, Control Bionics has been successful in keeping up the momentum of this international expansion, and, and that's all happening despite the COVID-19 disruptions. So what has been the company's core strategy for growth worldwide throughout this journey? Well, I think since raising capital in, uh, in um, December 2020, our core focus was to tackle our primary markets, which were the US and uh, and Australia, and make sure that we progress very strongly in those markets where we know that there's funding for the type of product that we offer. But our, our ex global expansion is really based around uh, amazing opportunity that we see in Japan, and we'll be launching in Japan um, in mid-March, which is a very exciting um, uh, progression for the company. What do you expect to see in mid-March for that launch? It, it must be a, a very exciting new proposal. Yeah, well, we've we've had to convert our whole product line into into Japanese language, which wasn't an easy task to do. 
Um, but now we've, we've got that to place. We've got a, a distributor um, in place and we've uh, got a trade show in April that will really launch the product. So a lot happening in terms of that product. But the feedback that we've got from the Japanese market is, you know, there is nothing like this in the Japanese market. So we're very excited to be able to take our Australian technology into that market. So tell me a little bit more about the the features that are quite exclusive to Control Bionics or any of these you know, point of differences that makes this world-class technology based around EMG um, gain so much popularity amongst the target population worldwide. Yeah, so our founder, Peter Ford, really started the development of EMG. And EMG, for anyone who doesn't know, is the electrical signals that our muscles conduct um, when we when we have a movement. And we uh, developed that into a communication technology whereby someone with a, they have a neuronode device on their body um, can send signals to the computer um, and to be able to dictate actions. And we combine that technology with eye gaze technology uh, to even improve the communication. And by doing that, we created something that was uh, not only faster, 47% faster than the traditional eye gaze technology, but also significantly less fatiguing for people who um, who needed this type of communication. So we, we have an absolute world-class product. So what about the business strategies that you're pursuing to target new markets and build relationships with potential clients? Yeah, so our, our business strategy in terms of the local markets that we're in is really often based around influencing the um, major specifiers who specify equipment for people with disability. So they tend to be speech language pathologists. So throughout our strategy, both North America, um, Australia and Japan, we're, we're moving into where we can get to people like speech language pathologists who reside with, within hospital and rehab centres like the VA, um, and, uh, and NDIS throughout Australia. And so finally, Rob, can you give us any insight into what the longer term plan is for Control Bionics? Well, um, I think our, our, we started out in communication and the introduction of Cosmos sort of heralds where we're going in terms of the central hub that we want to be for disabled users. We want to be able to enable people to control their world and that will mean that we can extend into gaming, we can extend into wheelchair control, we can extend into environmental control. Um, for disabled users. So our, our goal really is to, you know, how can we normalise a, a, a person who's disabled and uh, enable them to contribute in society as they want to. Thank you so much, Rob. And that's Control Bionics CEO, Rob Wong. Thank you for your, for your time today and joining us. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Cheers. And if you missed any part of that chat at home, you can catch the full interview on our YouTube channel, Kalkine Media. And uh, of course, we'll be back with plenty more expert talks into next week. But if you'd like to know anything more, have a look at the YouTube channel. And of course, meantime, stay wise and invest a prize right here at Kalkine.